Hi, my name is Vaughn Cocker and I'm the owner of the Blackfly brand. And today I'm going to talk about the very unique thing about our Blackfly Outfitter website. It's called the Fly Advisor. Now the Fly Advisor is very much like, uh, I guess, Home Advisor or uh, Trip Advisor. And, uh, and it basically set up as a database to talk about flies. And you know, we talk about bonefish flies all the time. Well, uh, these are, this is set up so that uh, if you wanna to go to a particular lodge in the, in the Caribbean, uh, you just type in the name of the lodge. Uh, and uh, so this is the home page that you'll go to. So let's go find the fly advisor, which is down here. Uh, and so here it is. And then once you get to the fly advisor, uh, you go up to the top here and there's, uh, there's Cuba, uh, the Bahamas, and it has different, several different lodges on there. Uh, on this one, it has, uh, let me get back over there, Abaco, Acklands, Andros, Crooked Island, Grand Bahama, and Long Island. You can see as I click on each one of these particular things, uh, you'll see over here all the lodges that are listed on Andros Island and there's, I don't know, eight or nine or something like that. So if you, if you go over to one of those and click on it, let's go to Crooked Island Lodge, uh, and you'll see uh, up here also is a unique feature about this is that uh, there's a Facebook post. Let me, go, let me go back here a little bit. Uh, take that back. Let's go to Abaco because Blackfly Lodge is here. And uh, as it loads, you'll see over here is the uh, Facebook post. So uh, it gives people an opportunity to give feedback. And so this is, the whole purpose of this is kind of a pay it forward situation. So if you've gone to a lodge uh, and you use certain flies, what we'd like you to do is to uh, uh, come, on to this, come on to this page and click on the Facebook part of it and talk about the flies that you use. I think you can even put a picture on there. Uh, so that way, uh, we have the most current information. Now, you know the fly choices change uh, during the seasons. In wintertime are different flies than it is in the summertime because there's different bait in the water and you're trying to match the hatch, which we've talked about in, in, in other videos here. So, uh, so then uh, if you scroll down on this, you'll see... Uh, my uh, Vaughn's fly box picks, and that talks about uh, that talks about the kind of the terrain and just general information you're going to need. And and this part here doesn't say you need this exact fly. It says this is how you think about preparing the flies that you need for this trip. Uh, down here on this lower part, we talk about specific flies, and these are the top four flies, and there's maybe even six flies, but. These are the top four that we've come up with that you probably should have and we know that work and it's been recommended by many people. Uh, right here we make a little statement about we do custom fly kits and we use all this information from the uh, different lodges, the lodge managers, uh, people that have come and gone, our own experience from having been to most of these lodges. So we can put together a nice fly kit for you depending on your length of stay and uh, how many people need the flies. Uh, below that is just a general category. We have all of our bonefish flies, permit flies, redfish and trout flies, and tarpon flies. Uh, I think our bonefish flies, we probably have, in fact, I know we have over 150 different fly patterns. Not flies, fly patterns. And in each one of those, we have dozens of each of them. So you got, got quite a selection there. So if you're looking for anything, we pretty much have it covered. And then down here is our moon phase calendar, and uh, this is an easy way to find out when your trip is going to be, uh, what's the phase of the moon. Maybe you don't like to fish on a full moon, so at least you know uh, where it is. So uh, let's jump back here. And then, uh, and, then, and then down below, I just give you basic information about the flies. This is what Black Fly Lodge looks like. Uh, and uh, then we talk a little bit about the fishing. Uh, we talk about the lodge. This is my partner, Clint Kemp, here. And uh, I think this is one of Clint's first uh, permit that he caught at the lodge. And we talk about the boats, and of course, we talk about the food. And throughout the Black Fly, there is uh, 
uh, a, a culinary string that runs through all the black fly entities. One thing that's not on here is that almost all the lodges have a link on the bottom to uh, yellow dog fly fishing, and uh, they are our, uh, our purveyor of, of uh, lodges. So if you're interested in going to one of these lodges, you can just click on the link and it'll take you to their website where you can call somebody up and book a trip. So and anyway, this is the Fly Advisor and we hope that you use it.